shotgun and horsey people. <laughs> Finally getting something. I don't think this is from the, uh, this is a different front coming from, um, uh, than the two hurricanes, what are the Harvey and Gonzalez, whoever they were. Um, Maria, Santa Maria, what, whatever they named the hurricanes or the, that were hitting. Uh, this is like, hell, this is Monday, September 1st. So this is way after that, but man, am I getting dumped on all this freaking water. You talk about filling up some water buckets if I wanted to, uh, look at water pouring out of that thing. You could fill up some serious buckets quick. Um, I wish I could direct all that straight to my pond and fill the pond up, but I mean, the pond's doing okay. But all this water, just standing water everywhere. It's been raining about, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes. I was in here checking my uh, little fittings on the truck, greasing up a couple. I guess Toyota, I don't know if somebody's got a Tundra, but they used to have a couple Zerk fittings on the four-wheel drive. I found one on the front, but I didn't find uh, any on the back. And there's not a really good diagram. If anybody can link a diagram to a 20, I think it's a 17 uh, Toyota Tundra, where the Zerk fittings are for four-wheel drive, because I only found one. Somebody said there was four, somebody said there was five. I did some research. I guess I could call Toyota and ask them if they would tell me. They probably want me to bring it in. But man, there was a couple good lightning strikes and good uh, thunders, like almost immediately. So you know the lightning's close when you see the flash and hear the bang almost immediately. Horses, I don't know where they went, they bailed. Actually, they, I don't know if they bailed or not. They were way back in the back. I can't get out here without getting wet. They were way back in the back by the trees. Oh, I figured I'd add in. I found the boys. They're still way out there in their little tree canopy. I don't know if you can see them out there. It's kind of like right. If there's Mr. T. And Buddy might be right behind him. That's as far as I can zoom with this iPhone. So uh, that's where they're at. So, uh, I don't know where they are at now. I knew we were supposed to get some rain, so I gave them some good, their little grain early this morning. Because now that it's wet like this, I can't bring them out to give them their grain because they'll make these big divots in the lawn because of all the standing water. Um, Woo, man. It is coming down. Oh shit, I can't stand over here. I'm getting all wet. <laughs> Let me clean that lens off. <laughs> Woo, doggies. It's a good rainstorm. Temperature cooled off. Really nice. Uh, my buddy came by and went, you see those two little holes on the, uh, on the wall there, I don't know if you can see them. Let's try to point to them. There's one right there, and there's one right below it. And um, I went on that thumbtack and had some knucklehead come over, uh, saying he could put in my, uh, he could run a line down the wall because my internet's upstairs, so he could run a line down the wall so I could have a TV, a hardwired um, cat line to my TV. Well. And the hard line just works a lot better. So that's why I wanted to put that in. And he ended up drilling through the damn uh, siding. And then after he put those two holes in there, he's like, well, I can't get through. So uh, I guess uh, if you'll agree to fix that, there's no charge for coming out. I'm like no charge, you come to my house and drill holes in my damn siding, you're gonna try. Anyway, so now I can fix those because my buddy came over and we went and got a drill and did ourselves, punched through, ran a line down. Now I got hard cat line to my TV. Makes a difference on loading uh, streaming videos and stuff. So, um, you know, the wireless was working. It just wasn't, um, it's not hardwired, so you don't get the full use of your internet. So anyway, all this flooding and water. 
and the grass was needed cutting too. I was just gonna cut the grass. I was like, ah, it's supposed to rain one day. Shit, looking at the damn weather, it's gonna be raining like this for the next week. So my grass will be freaking crazy long by the time I cut it. A little rabbit was in here. Let me see a little rabbit. <laughs> I can't see if he's in there or not. He's usually right behind that little tunnel in there. I don't know if you guys can see him. <laughs> <laughs> and Smokey, I don't know where the hell that crazy cat's at. And he was helping me, uh... He was helping me earlier climb underneath the car. I had to get in the middle of me squirting grease. And then, uh, I don't know where the hell he went. See if that crazy cat's upstairs. <laughs> I don't think he is. He's not. Little rascal. Not his little house there. He's been finding some different hiding places, so. Here's a good little tip for. There he is, speaking of the devil. Where are you at? I was just trying to find you for YouTubies. Where are you at, boy? <laughs> you crazy old cat, you. What are you doing? Like Dad is lightning and thunder. What the hell are you doing out here running around? <laughs> I know, you were in your little safe space. You were in your little safe spot. I know. So I don't know if I, I gave this tip already, but uh, this worked out pretty good. I put some, because uh, the cat really likes the downy smell, and I kind of like it too. Um, so I got a, a spray bottle, and I put, hell, I don't know, maybe a 50-50 maybe a solution that much downy and that much water. And then I sprayed down all the things, all the cloth in here where Smokey lays in the garage. And it smelled like downy for like a week. And uh, so it gets in on the cloth and it makes it smell good. So every once in a while I'll do that. And I don't know if the critters like that downy. I know if you, if you take a downy cloth and rub it on your horse, it keeps the mosquitoes and bugs off. So this smell does something I think to repel. And um, so, if anybody wants to use that for their critters, I haven't sprayed it directly on the horses, but I know if you take a dryer sheet and you keep a couple of those in your horse trailer, if you go out and it's buggy, you can rub your horses down with that and uh, it, it helps with the mosquitoes. So uh, I just put some in a spray bottle to spray down the cloth and stuff. But anyway, finally we got a break in the rain. Ooh, that was a good little lightning. Ooh. Ooh, got a good crack too. Man. Uh oh. <laughs> I think Smokey. <laughs> I heard something hit the wall. I think that was Smokey hauling ass. <laughs> Poor Smokey. It scared him. <laughs> He's like, Dad, I'm out of here. Shit. I heard him hit that damn wall. He must have ran from there and ran back there and ran into the wall because it was. <laughs> There he is. What are you doing? Was that you? It was, I heard that big crack. I know. It was scary. It was a big boom. Oh my goodness. It was really scary. <laughs> I love the good thunder. So this window is it's not. Yeah, I can't see anything back there. All right. Well, I just wanted to uh, give an update on the on the crazy. Uh, I got a few projects going. That I finished up that closet with all that um, that stuff I was putting in the closet. That tongue and groove cedar. That's a good little project. That really makes the closet look nice too. I really like that. I'm glad I did that. It was kind of a pain in the butt. You got to get all the cuts down. You got to measure each one and then tongue and groove it together. I was putting glue at first, because it said to glue it, but then I just got my little brad nailer out and tack nailed it into the studs and said, screw the glue. It went a lot faster then and uh, still turned out nice. So uh, anybody looking for a little project to do that's, I think it was like a hundred bucks in materials buying the uh, tongue and groove. It's 20 bucks for like six slats and they're like 80, 80 inches long. So, uh, Home Depot tongue groove. I'm not getting any cut. 
I'm not sponsoring them. It just made it nice and easy. I'm sure Lowe's sell them or whoever. All right, well, hell, looks like the storm's kind of petering out. Rain's really slowed down a lot. You can tell the flow out of the, out of that slowed down a lot. It'd still fill up a bucket pretty quick if I wanted to collect rainwater. Um, all right, well, shit, I guess we'll end out there. I can't find the horses, can't find the rabbit. Smokey was in here, but he decided he might be following me around. I don't even know it. Where you at, Mokey Moke? Where'd that Mokey kid at? Where'd he go? All right, he dug in somewhere. I don't know where the hell he's at. Oh, there he comes. <laughs> he's like, would you let me sleep, dude? <laughs> Why do you keep hiding, you little rascal, you? Why do you keep hiding? There ain't no sense in that. There ain't no sense in that hiding. It's just raining lightning. Acting all crazy cat. Oh my goodness. I eat the gut little kitty cat. Oh, oh I know. It's just crazy. <laughs> it's just crazy time. All right, we'll end out there. Y'all have a good one. Smokey's gonna grab a snack.